Hi there. Good morning. I wanted to film a video today on my walk and um, talk about something that I've really been needing to talk about in these videos for a while now. And um, for those of you who know me well or know anything about my past, you'd know that since I was a young child, my goal had been to become an officer in the United States Army. And yet here I am, a civilian, with my my own fitness company. Um, if you knew me in high school, you probably remember me as being incredibly driven and just focused on this one thing, which was getting accepted into West Point. And um, that's that's really who I was. It's it's kind of the only thing I was back then. And um, even up until my freshman year in college, that had been the only goal I had ever had, and it really defined everything about me back then. And um, five years later, now, I can safely say that it really kind of defines nothing about me. But the truth is I didn't get here and I didn't become who I am now despite the fact that I had spent all the time striving for that one goal, but rather because of it. And um, it all began when I got accepted into West Point, which was the second time I had applied. First time I was rejected, I ended up going to the ROTC for a year on a full scholarship. Worked as hard as I could, got really good grades, you know, the whole resume thing. And uh, beefed up my second application and got in. And uh, within a very short amount of time, I quit and came back home. And um, to the disdain of my peers and close friends, I decided not to pursue the military anymore. Um, <laughs> partly due to the fact that when I left West Point, uh, one of the officers there submitted a form basically saying that I couldn't become an officer anymore. He said I had wasted my opportunity and shown that I was unfit for leadership. So that was that. But needless to say, when you spend five, six, gosh, probably seven years of your life pursuing a single goal, it kind of consumes you. And um, when you lose that goal, you really lose a piece of yourself. And uh, when I was banned from officer training, I, I felt like I had lost a piece of my identity and um, I didn't know where to go or who to become. And I went into a state of depression for several years. It was really difficult to talk to certain people, people who had believed so strongly in me and had sacrificed their own time and energy to help me get into West Point and pursue that dream. The people who had grew up next to me, watching me talk about this one dream and um, the way that I felt that I had kind of betrayed them in such a short amount of time. I spent years working for that acceptance letter and it took me less than a month to quit and come home and throw everything away. I lost my scholarship, I lost my career path, uh, everything on my resume was kind of done exclusively with the goal of becoming an officer and um, now here I was and I felt like I didn't really have anything at all. With the help of a few good friends and of course my now wife, who was my girlfriend at the time, I was able to kind of piece together little things that helped me slowly begin to form a new identity. And that identity became fitness. And um, <laughs> truth be told, I, I wouldn't have those pieces or that new identity if it hadn't been for the army. But the reason I got into fitness in the first place is because I kept failing the fitness test for the application. There's a pretty rigorous fitness exam that you have to pass, and you get, you get graded. And uh, I kept failing the two-mile run and the pull-ups. So I got a personal trainer when I was in high school. My dad picked out a good one for me, and uh, his name is Stu. If you're watching this, Stu, you're the man. Hope you're doing well. But he taught me all the basics. He taught me the foundation of everything that I know about fitness. Um, the form, the techniques. He yelled at me about my diet, you know, he, he did everything a personal trainer should have done. And without him and his guidance and his mentorship, 
and that foundation that he helped lay for me, I wouldn't be as involved with fitness as I am now. And I, I discovered years later how much I loved it. I would wake up at five in the morning, kind of actually a couple hours before this time of day. It was really early, but we would do our PT for the ROTC. And uh, when I was done with that, I'd go eat breakfast and I'd go to the rec center and I'd lift more weights. I loved it. Uh, it, was, it was part of who I was. I just didn't realize it at the time. And so I decided to become a certified fitness trainer. I got a couple certifications in strength and conditioning and I decided to switch my degree from communications to exercise science. And uh, five years later, I'm here now, starting my own fitness company, making these videos, helping people change their lives and I, I couldn't be more satisfied. I guess the, the biggest lesson that I pull from this whole story is that even if you feel lost, even if something that you had really high hopes for turns out to be different and you feel dissatisfied or lost or discouraged, if you feel worthless, to be honest, don't. Don't do that because that's a critical moment. And it's okay to feel bad. It's okay to get kind of angry at yourself for feeling like you messed something up. And I, you know, I take full responsibility for the mistakes that I made. But I learned from them. Those mistakes are lessons that you pay for. You're paying for those lessons with emotion, with time, with energy, and you need to respect them because those lessons will help point you down the path that you need to be on. And years of depression, confusion, feeling lost, not really knowing who I was, those were the years where I tried a bunch of different things. I tried many career paths. I tried three different degrees. I took lots of classes I didn't need to. And, and ultimately, it was the combination of all of those little failures and all of those little successes that helped me piece together the person that I needed to be, the person that I wanted to be. And, uh, gosh, five years retrospect, I can't imagine having made a better decision than, than leaving West Point like I did. <laughs> I have a little daughter now, I'm married, got a little house, and I own my own company. And I'm so happy with what I'm doing. I'm helping people. I truly believe in the career that I have now. I truly believe that the, on the mission that I've set out on. And um, I don't, I'm not questioning myself anymore like I was. And uh, gosh, I'm, I'm just so much happier for it. So when you feel afraid, when you feel confused, when you feel lost, when you're depressed, embrace it but learn from it and keep moving forward because everyone makes mistakes big and small and um, it's just part of life so focus on the things about yourself that you know are true and really test the things that you question and you will find out where you need to be and you'll find a way to get there so that's really all I had to say I'm uh, I'm no sage or anything. I'm just a person who has had a short life so far filled with many experiences. And um, I've chosen to learn from my mistakes and make the best out of what I have. So I really hope you do the same. And um, get out there, enjoy the weather while you still can, because it's getting cold. I'll talk to you guys later.